Welcome back. Peanut allergies are one of the most serious food allergies, but there may be hope on the horizon with an effort spearheaded by Dr. Carla Davis, the director of the allergy program with Texas Children's Hospital. Good morning to you. Morning. Proud to have you here this morning to talk about this because I think this is a huge deal for a lot of local families. Tell me what is available right now through one of your studies. Mm -hmm. Well, we're spearheading a new study in the, this area that looks at <clears throat> trying to cure patients with peanut allergy um, and prevent them from having accidental reactions with exposures through giving them small amounts of peanut over time to increase their ability to tolerate peanut protein. And you actually need more patients for this study. Yes. Uh -huh. So who would qualify? Mm -hmm. Patients who have a peanut allergy but don't have asthma or a history of having a severe anaphylactic reaction with a drop in blood pressure. I think one of the biggest messages I've been trying to get out all week is, is helping people realize how serious this allergy is because I think people just you know, sometimes they, they they just don't realize that a child with peanut allergies does not have to eat it. They can just be in the room with it. And so this would be a huge life changer if something comes out of this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We know from prior studies that these kinds of desensitization studies mm -hmm. have increased the ability for children with peanut allergy to tolerate the food. So it definitely can increase the quality of life with children and families who have peanut allergy. But this is a big commitment. I mean, they're going to have to come back, what is it, week after week, year after year, for it to all be said and done? It's a three-year study, and after the children are started on the peanut protein, every two weeks they do have to come back to the clinic so that their dose of peanut can be increased. It is a very huge commitment. You have to be on standby every second, I'm sure, just to make sure that something negative doesn't happen while they're in that clinic. We know that these kinds of studies cause a lot of reactions, and parents have to be ready to treat those reactions. Mm -hmm. So we are on call 24 hours a day mm -hmm. for the patients who are in this study. How do you think this will change the way that, that allergies are treated? If, if in three years this comes to be that, that you are curing allergies, this could be huge for all types of allergy, not just peanut. Yes, we know that these studies really don't absolutely cure mm -hmm. a patient uh, because after the treatment is complete, the reactions can come back if the children don't continuously eat mm. peanut in their diet. So it would just be something that they had to put in their diet all the time. Mm -hmm. Is it something you would do daily, weekly? How, how do you even know how much to, to eat? Well, we know that um, children can lose their sensitivity within a month, so it would have to be on a regular basis, but wouldn't necessarily have to be every single day. So almost just like a right, what, what anybody else would do who's not allergic, just have it from here and here and there. Although they have to be very specific about really eating it for people with all types of food allergies, you have a symposium coming up. I think this is going to be huge for families because so many times they feel isolated and alone, but to be in a group where there are so many people who can help them is a big deal. Tell me when that's going to be. It's going to be September 27th at 10 o'clock in the morning at Texas Children's Hospital at the women for the Pavilion for Women. Do people need to sign up for that in advance? Yes, they need to go online at Texas Children's Hospital and register. Okay, and then it's again people for all types of food allergies and issues. That is correct. You'll have experts, I guess, and then just allowing people to, to, to be able to meet and mingle. That's right. We'll have an expert that really is an expert in the quality of life and how to cope with food allergies on a daily basis. And I understand you're going to have recipes because that can be a real challenge trying to find things to fill your kids up when you're having to, to deal with a different ingredient list than other people. Mm -hmm, that's right. We won't only talk about the research advances, but we'll also be giving practical tips and have dietitians available to give recipes to families. Well, I'm going to make sure we get a link to that on our web page at myfoxhouston.com so people can easily find you guys. And then tonight at night, I'm going to be following a, a, one of your patients at Texas Children's who goes through a shrimp challenge. Oh, wonderful. So you will find out tonight if she is going to be a lead shrimp the rest of her life and live a little bit easier. Dr. Davis, thanks for being here. Great to My talk pleasure. to you as always. All right, thank you.